South Korea's Prime Minister Lee na yeon has become the longest-serving Prime Minister in the country's democratic history. Thanks to his extensive political resume, speculation mounts what role the Prime Minister will play with parliamentary elections upcoming in April next year. Our political correspondent Kim Min-ji reports. Prime Minister Lee na yeon has become the longest-serving prime minister since South Korea adopted a direct presidential system in 1987, recording 881 days in office as of Monday. He's been on the job since the Moon Jae-in administration set sail in May 2017. Lee overtakes the previous record of 880 days set by former Prime Minister Kim Hwang-sik, who served under the Lee myung bak administration. The prime minister said it was an honor to hold such record, but he also has his regrets. It's a great honor to have such a title. I think I tried to give it my all, but looking at the outcome, I do have regrets. Data show there's been a recovery to some degree, but at the same time, there are still people that are suffering. That hurts me. He, a former journalist, is known for his extensive political career, having experience as a governor of Jeollanamdo province and as a four-term lawmaker. He also recently took on a diplomatic role, holding talks with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in the hope of easing bilateral tensions sparked by historical and trade issues. Speculation is mounting over Yi's next potential move, especially with general elections coming up next April. He is also considered a potential presidential contender, as he leads various opinion polls as the strongest candidate from the ruling Democratic Party. However, he has remained tight-lipped on the matter, saying that for now he plans to do his best to reach out to those experiencing difficulties. I can't decide on my next step alone. I will work it out in a harmonious way. Pundits say that the prime minister will likely run for the parliamentary elections next year on the ruling party ticket or take a role in the party's election campaign. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.